morning everyone. Today's workout is going to focus on the glutes and also on the core, all areas of the core, front, sides and also the back, so all the muscles of the torso. It's going to be a Tabata style workout, so timings wise we're going to work for 20 seconds and we're going to have a 10 second recovery. We're going to intermittently work between the, the glutes and the core and some of them we're just going to mix them in. This is a, a great additional workout if you've just gone for a run or had a, had a training session and you just want to do a little bit of extra work that focuses on these uh, key areas. Without any further ado, we shall get started. So I'm setting my clock, my Tabata timer. This workout in total is probably going to be about 15 minutes. All right, so let's get started. So first up onto the floor. No equipment needed for this one. Okay, we're going to a single leg glute bridge. So driving the hips up, drive the heel into the ground. So you're really pushing off my right heel as much as possible, keeping the hips up as high as I can. Try and tilt the pelvis backwards. You're rotating it backwards, really squeezing that glute. Alright, down we go. Okay, up onto the feet. Next up, we're going to go with a single leg hop. Idea, we want to get a forward lean on here. Okay, so from here, nice, slow, controlled. Want to try and get this hinge at the hip. This is what makes the glute and the hamstring work that little bit more. So, all about a forward lean, keeping the back straight. Nice and controlled. You can use the back toe just to help balance, help to stabilize. Just trying to get off the ground. Down we go. Gonna work the same leg. So twice through on each. Drive that hip up into the air. Keep the other leg straight. Optional, you can drive this knee up. Looking to get the hip as high as you can. Support yourself through the elbows. Drive the elbows into the floor. Keep some tension in your abdominals the whole time. And down we go. Get yourself set. Another set on the hops. Away we go. Again, all about that forward lead, keeping the back straight. Feel the hamstring working, feel the glute. Try to keep on the move. If you fatigue, You've also just got the option to hold that position or squat. Okay, knees down. We're gonna switch feet onto the left. So lying on your back, hips up and drive. Okay, just that isometric hold, just holding this end range position with the pelvis. You're looking to keep the pelvis rotated backwards slightly. You squeeze your bum really hard. Your pelvis should just fall into position. Holding up, and down we go. Okay, get set. All right, single leg hops. Don't have to do these too fast, slow controlled. It's all about getting this hinge at the hip that loads the glute. Keeping the back nice and straight. Done. Come back on the floor. Elbows into the floor. Drive the hips up. So we've got 10 second recovery between these. If you want to go straight into the next exercise, have a little bit more time, then by all means you can start just before I do. I'll let you know which exercise is coming next. Yourself ready, forward lean into the position, should feel that glute and hop. Sit the hips back when you're landing in the hop, that will ensure hamstrings and glutes get maximal loading. Nearly there, alright, okay, so 
Down we go. All right, gonna move on to the core. We start off in a double crunch. Just taking the legs out, bring them in, try and get the timing. Try and lift the shoulders off. Tuck the knees right up to the chest. Working right through the abdominals. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and go into a cross body mountain climber. So push the floor away. So your knees are coming across the body towards the opposite elbow. Trying to keep tension in the abs the whole time. Nice control, big range of movement. And down we go. Back into the double crunch. So on here we're looking to keep the lower back pretty flat, pushed into the floor the whole time. You can modify this movement, literally just make the movement a little bit slower, a little bit more controlled. Shouldn't be feeling this in the lower back. Should be feeling this in the abdominals. All right. So when we're on here, we're looking to push the floor away, keep the shoulders rounded. The best way to stabilize through the shoulder, across we go. And take these a little bit quicker. You want to up the intensity. Should feel the abs. Nearly there. All right. Okay, next up, we're gonna do some planks. So we're gonna go side plank. So, from here, stack the feet on top. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can take the leg up, like so. Just hold in this end position. Pull the hip away from the floor. Make sure that elbow's right underneath the shoulder. Down we go. Okay, modified version. Let's have the knees slightly bent, elbow underneath the shoulder, and you can raise up from here. Want to make this a little bit harder? We can just take this leg up. Work to your own level. Pull that hip away from the floor. Just feel this in the side of the abdominals. Hold in here for 20 seconds. Just feel the outside of the glute as well. Down we go. Okay, so this one's a straight mountain climber. So legs coming straight. Again, pushing the floor away. Drive them knees. Nice and light on the feet. Nice and light. Make sure the hands are directly under the shoulders. Keep the tension in the abdominals. Now we go, back into the side plank position. Leg straight, elbow underneath shoulder. Hips up, and hold. Just try to challenge yourself as much as you can. If you get to a point where you need to drop the legs, hold the legs in here, see if you can then take the legs off. Makes it a lot more challenging on the, on the glutes, outside of the hips. Down we go. Shoulder underneath, elbow under shoulder, hips up, and drive that leg. This arm up in the air just helps create a bit of alignment. Down we go. 
All right, back onto the bridge. Onto the back. So this time we're gonna work the bridge up and down. When you're coming down to the floor, keep your hips just off the floor. So that leg's working the whole time. Okay, slightly modified position, slightly less resistant with the knee up as opposed to leg out straight. Okay, we're gonna go into a glute kickback. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, work that same side, that right side, you're gonna kick up and hold. So the key is on here, is to not arch the lower back. So if you keep tension in your abdominals, keep the abs tense, drive that heel up towards the sky as much as you can. You should really feel glutes, hamstrings working. We're gonna go back to the same side. So on the right hand side, single leg glute bridge. Get ready and up, drive. Really squeeze the glute at the top of the range. You may feel the hamstring cramp a little bit on these. Don't worry about that. Try and work through it if you can. Down we go. Back into the glute kickback. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Tension in the abdominals. Tense the abs before you go. Up and hold. Try not to arch the back. Distribute your weight evenly with your two hands and your knee that's on the ground. Squeeze at the top. Really trying to tip, get that heel high up to the sky. Down we go. Okay, let's switch over. We go on the left leg now. Switch you around, better view. Leg out, elbows into the floor. And we're up and drive. Up, drive, squeeze at the top. Push up and squeeze. Push up, squeeze at the top. You should really feel the glute at the top. With the hips up high. Back into four point position. Get set, push the floor away. Come up, squeeze. Keep the abs tight, abs tight. If the head lifts up, you're arching the back. You're not working the glutes efficiently. Keep the tension in your abdominals. Raise the heel, keep the floor pushed away. Down we go. Round two. Elbows into the ground. Get set. Hip bridge, single leg up and drive. Keep the movement controlled. Trying to drive through my left heel as much as possible. Up as high as you can. Little pause at the top. And change. Okay, last one on this. Glute bridge. Quarter point position. Up and hold. Tension in the abs. Should really feel it this second time round. Squeeze, squeeze, heel up high as you can, and change. All right, last little circuit. We're gonna go back to the core. So this one's a reverse curl. So looking to keep the lower back in contact with the ground when the legs go out. When you're lifting up, try to focus the lift through the abdominals. Avoid the swing of the knee. Keep the heels close to your bum and change. So we're gonna go mountain climbers, but work the same side. So the knee is coming towards the outside of the same elbow. Just feel this a little bit more on the sides of the abs. Keep tension in the abs the whole time. Nearly there. And change. 
This one's a plank. So we're just gonna hold a static plank. A couple of options. We can go more advanced version. So squeeze the glutes, tense the abs. If that's too hard, take it into the high plank position. If that's too challenging or your lower back starts to load too much, we'll take it into the low plank. Squeeze the glutes, tense the abs, real hard. And change. Last time round, we go back into the reverse curl, hands on the floor, bit of stability, keep tension in the abs, and you're looking to lift the abs. That's the key on here. Looking to lift the pelvis off the ground via your abdominals. You should really feel this belly button area, a little bit lower down, and change. Steam side climbers, gonna go side on position. Nearly there, two to go. Push the floor away, there we go. Try to get big range of motion. Drive them knees out. Three, two, and one. Last effort, onto the plank. Choose which version is appropriate for you. If you're going into this version, you can really work hard. Just squeeze the glutes, tense your abs as hard as you can. Creating tension makes the muscles work really hard. Squeeze, squeeze the glutes a little harder, tense them abs, and finish there. Okay, excellent. Hope you had a good session there. By all means, if you're feeling brave, you want to take that circuit again, that's good to do. I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Thanks for joining.